क्वेश्चन नंबर टू हैज टू पार्ट्स पार्ट ए वी हैव क्रैक्ट इट वेरी इजीली ओके पार्ट बी इज अ बेट चैलेंजिंग एंड दैट इज बेस्ड ऑन ऑर्थोग्राफिक प्रोजेक्शन सो लेट्स टेक अ लुक हियर वी गो वी हैव बीन गिवन द पिक्टोरियल व्यू ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट एंड वी नीड टू क्रिएट द फ्रंट एंड टॉप व्यू ऑन रीडिंग द प्रॉब्लम इट लुक्स वेरी वेरी सिंपल लेट्स टेक अ लुक एट दिस यू नीड टू क्रिएट द फ्रंट व्यू दिस एक्स मार्क इज फॉर द फ्रंट ओके as well as the top view how can you do that let me take you to the final problem solution here we go so here is the partition line above uh, which you have the front view and that's the top view in the question uh, even in the question papers note we have been given that uh, use the first angle method of projection that means the object is above hp and in front of the vp all right here we go so the first step is you need to work out the maximum length width and height Sir, the maximum length is 90. The maximum width is 60, and the maximum height is 40 plus 30 plus this much. That is 15. 40 plus 30 plus 15 is 85. Okay, so we need to make two boxes. From the front, you will see the length and the height. Length and the height, and as I have just demonstrated, the length is 90, and the height is 85. Secondly, from the top, you will see. the length and the width the length and the width length again is 90 and width is 60 you can see this right make sure you are using a very light pencil preferably a 3h or a 4h pencil because we are right now in the construction phase and then you can overwrite also don't worry right but use a light pencil anything lighter can be made darker but uh, going the either way well, that's not 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 good Okay, now make the center line. Can you see the center line? Make it done, sir. What about this point? This very point. How far below, sir? This is if you watch, this is fifteen millimeter. The radius of this semi-circle. So you can come down fifteen millimeters. Done. So this is the center for the circle and the semi-circle. And again, this is the center for the semi-circle. We are going to make it accurately. Don't worry. what's next in the next step uh, you need to create certain lines so to the left and to the right please look this circle is having a diameter pi that means diameter is 15 so the radius is 7.5 to the left and to the right 7.5 to the left and to the right then you've got these two points again take a look radius is 15 so 15 to the left and 15 to the right 15 to the left and 15 to the right agreed yes sir okay please note down we started off with 7.5 then 15 on either sides of this center line please note 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 7.5 then 15 okay then this point is also essential right uh, because from here you can see a hidden line the edge is not visible therefore we have going to use a dashed line to represent its hidden feature but how far is this point from 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 the center line that is something that you need to decide please note that this distance is 25 half of 50 out of which this much we already know is 15 so 25 minus 15 is going to give you this value this value is going to be how much 10 let me rewrite this again this is how much 10 out of which this is already 6 this is 6 so the, the one left this much is 4 okay agreed yes sir so let me produce this this very point this distance we know is 4 so 4 and between these two points the distance is sir 15 so 15 plus 4 is going to give you 19 so 19 to the left and 19 to the right can you do this yes sir we can we started off with 7.5 then 15 then 19 again on either side to the left as well as right sir then uh, we you can straight away go for this point add 6 more 19 plus 6 is going to give you 25 you, you look here this particular point on both the sides 22 to the left and 22 to the right just do it 22 to the left and 22 to the right and then you can go for this very point okay uh with respect to this 19 add 6 more so 25 25 to the left and to the right 25 to the left and 25 to the right done okay till now we are absolutely clear right <laughs> okay 
so far what we've done is 7.5 15 16 22, 25, फाइव मोर थर्टी फाइव मोर टू दी लेफ्ट एंड फाइव मोर टू दी राइट विद रिस्पेक्ट टू दीज टू लाइन राइट इधर विद रिस्पेक्ट टू देंटर इट द डिस्टेंस इज थर्टी ऑन इधर साइड डन सर एनी थिंग दैट वी आर लेफ्ट प्लीज प्लीज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल टेक अ स्क्रीन शॉट ऑफ दिस ओके डन now let me erase this now what i need to do is as far as this this line is concerned it is at a height of 40 from the base you can make it then as far as the this line is concerned this is at a height of 10 from the base to so make it done now creating the front view becomes very easy because these guidelines are going to help you both in the front and the top view how take a look so uh, this is the center and uh, taking this as the center and the radius as 22 you can make this semi circle easy at the same time sir this is the center and the diameter is 15 radius is 7.5 smaller circle at the same time this is the center and that's the circle the radius is 15 so this radius is 15 done circular profiles can be created rather easily now please match the points yes sir please match the points again okay left right left right enjoy the process hmm? then go up by 10 mm 10 mm done this is the point this is the point these are the points join done then move towards left 5 mm 5 to the right and here 5 to the left done then move upwards by 30 mm upwards by 30 mm and then straight away join with this semi circle join with the semi circle done done the front view is done just a few uh <laughs> hidden lines are left we are going to work it out don't worry uh take a look at this now can you see this once again how far below is this from the top most periphery this is 7 mm below so from here 7 mm downwards you need to make a line a hidden line because that is not going to be visible this is the hidden line i am talking about okay 7 mm below and now you can make the construction one horizontal and one vertical through these two points i hope you all can observe these things okay sir uh, what about this point it's not visible i mean uh, the its distance its exact location has not been given to us rather it appears as if this slant face sort of has this point right at the center okay the distance above is exactly equal to the distance below here also the distance above is exactly equal to the distance below i mean this is the judgment that we can make so what i will do is we are going to just take the center of this very line and draw horizontal through it for both the profiles now drop vertical construction lines through these two points like this hmm? okay we'll do it later on don't worry don't worry if you watch this is a hidden portion isn't it here also there is going to be a hidden portion and we are going to draw it like this right so here this is uh exactly and you need to stop over here i mean the reference line which you just created again hidden lines let me zoom in zoom in okay by the way this is 4 mm this is 4 4 mm away to the left 4 mm away to the right come down until you reach this midpoint this midpoint horizontal reference i think i should speak less okay so far so good now what and i have passed vertical lines construction lines through them as well now what now i think it's time to create the top view for top view creation you need certain lines i mean this is at a distance of sir this is 10 mm so make it at the same time this line is at a distance of 20 so either from here you can mark 20 distance and make this line and in the same fashion there are going to be two more 
and then 10 10 this way 20 10 10 right when you look at it from the top this zigzag portion that you see when you look at it from the top will appear as a straight line like this this portion that you see will appear like this okay i hope that you are getting the point this is how it would look and as far as this edge is concerned this is that edge right okay on either side of the center line now what now look mm, how should we proceed okay take a look here it is can you see this this portion this portion this portion this portion here it is let me make it properly can you see this portion now hmm? let me create it here it is okay this is how you need to make it uh, i mean basically what we've done is from here to the right from here to the right and then this way this way and then this way to the left and lock okay whatever you do in the left of the center line you need to repeat the same to the right yeah they are going to be exactly mirror images in the same fashion take a look now this line this line this line this line this line this line done this is what you need to do the top view is almost created uh, with a few more enhancements in the um, what is left this portion is left okay so we already have the guidelines so you can see these are the guidelines it is going to begin here and end here again begin here and end here let me make it done what else sir uh, the hidden feature Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. circular profile a drill throughout this is how it would look and uh, this portion this edge is not going to be visible from the top and therefore where does it start mm -hmm. here 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 and dash lines for hidden features done it is done okay make sure that you put all the dimensions like this it's finished now if you can create a drawing of this standard, I'm sure you're going to get full marks. Make sure whenever your construction, I mean, making the construction of a front and top views of any pictorial representation, you got to be confident, first of all. Okay. You have to believe in your skills. You have to believe in your abilities. Right. <laughs> All right.